Never be defeated. Never be defeated. You won't. 
is your greatest power we shall never never be defeated and be God, we worship your name. God, we give you our worship, God, because you are deserving of it. You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. Worship you for me. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Here is my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship, say you, Lord.
worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, here is my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship, stay here in even more so now. He had the shooting in the aging church. We had the massacre of multiple elderly African Americans in a grocery store in Buffalo. We had another massacre in a school on this week of children. Massacre after, after massacre, tragedy after tragedy. We have to seek God and we have to pray. We need God, saints. Our world is in a state of confusion and we have to seek him. He's the only one that can turn it around. Amen. We're in the last days of this month. We're in the last days, period. But we're in the last days of this month. And uh, it was Mental Health Month. Um, let me just say this. Mental health does not equal hate. There's a difference. 
mental health does not equal hate. And please know the difference. Every time there's a tragedy, we blame in our mental health. That's offensive, that waters it down. And there are people who truly are living with mental illness and everything that goes on, every shooting, every massacre is not men mental health. That's used to deflect and take the, uh, our eyes off of guns. Our country has a gun and a hate problem. That's what we have and we have to pray. So y'all don't be confused and don't be deceived. Everything is not mental illness. Amen? Amen. At this time, and maybe First Lady will talk some more on this. I like when she gets up and she gives us different things for the year, for the weeks, for the months, whether it's breast cancer, whether it's mental health, whether it's what. Y'all listen to that stuff that she says. It's very important. Um, I know it's her day, but um, she is the first thing. We want her to come and greet the people of God, whether it be visitor or whether it be us that are here every day, every Sunday. Um, we like to hear from her. Say amen for our first lady as she comes. Amen. Welcome amen. back. Thank you. Amen. I truly thank God for you guys. Thank God for life, health, and strength and taking me through yet another procedure, surgery, minor stuff. But have another one coming up on Friday. So just pray for me. I hate to go under anesthesia. It's not amen. fun. Um, and my body doesn't like it either. So just continue to pray for me. So I will do my best to be here next Sunday. If I'm not here, that means not that I'm not able to walk. I'm not able, not able to get up and talk. So if I'm able to be here, I'll be here. If you don't see me, please pray for me. Um, we know that May was Mental Health Month. And Elder Cameron said it very clearly. Not everything is mental health. Some things are some issues that we need to deal with. And, and kids dying is just tragic. We know all of us in here, we either have kids, grandkids, cousins, nieces, nephews, everything. Can't even imagine what these parents are going through. So just continue to pray for them, pray for the entire situation that at some point we can come to some result where we don't have to continue to do this. So just continue to pray. I can't imagine what them people are going through. So just, just pray for them and we'll do the same for you. Please continue to pray for all those you don't see. Pray for those that are grieving. Please say a special prayer for Mother Wright. She lost her grandson the other day um, in a uh, motor vehicle accident. So please, please continue to pray for their family, and we will do the same for you. Amen. Come on, give our first lady a hand, y'all. Amen. We know that God is going to bring her out um, of that procedure. I enjoy, I'm just, uh, I continue to pray for our leaders and our pastor and our pastor's wife. She's going to be all right, but um, we want her to be well. So I, I, I'm, I'm not excited about the procedure, but the procedure is going to make her better. Um, you know, um, we, we appreciate the doctors that know what they're doing. Amen. Um, so let's keep them in prayer. At this time, let's just move forward and have our announcements at this time, and you all be attentive uh, for whatever um, is said. We're coming up on in the summer. Um, we want to do some things, and there are some, our, our national church is back open again, so there are even some things going on there, but we really want to be aware of everything that is going on in our local, in our state uh, jurisdiction, and in the national. So just pay attention to these announcements as Sister Lindsay comes at this time. Say amen for her as she comes. Amen. Amen. Um, we have just a few announcements this morning. Um, so, we will still be giving out prizes to all um, people that are in school, um, college on down, for a good grades, honor roll, and or dean's list. Um, everyone should be getting their final reports soon, if they have not already. Um, so you can bring in a picture, or we will also take the parents' words for it. We just want to encourage everyone 
and let you all know that your hard work does not go unnoticed. So um, in order to receive that prize, you can see Minister Winters. As it has been uh, stated, and you can see that today is Fifth Sunday, where we will be honoring our First Lady. Um, so everyone also be mindful that the offering we're asking for today is $35. Yes, our jurisdictional yes, AIM convention will be Wednesday through Friday, June 8th through the 10th at Miracle Temple in Kansas City, Kansas. So that is coming up in the next two weeks. Um, so we want to definitely govern ourselves accordingly for that. Again, it's going to be Wednesday through Friday, June 8th through the 10th. And then We are still raising money to send our young people to our National AIM Convention, which is July 4th through the 8th. So if you would like to give toward that effort, you can see First Lady with your donation. Also, Sunday, June 26th, we will honor all graduates. So if your child has been elevated on any level, please let our Sunday School Superintendent, Minister Winters, know, and your child will be recognized. So that's preschool, kindergarten, eighth grade, high school, college, etc. cetera. Um, we will be honoring everyone that has graduated this year on June 26th. And then our Young Men of Valor Real Talk Ministry is for ages 11 through 19, and they meet each second and fourth Saturday here at Revival Center from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And if you're interested in getting your young man signed up for the Young Men of Valor, you can see Brother Tony Williams. And those are our announcements. If we have any visitors at this time, I invite you to stand and be acknowledged by our pastor. Amen. Amen. We're definitely excited for you being in the house with us on today. Amen. Your presence indeed makes a difference. Um, who invited you? are definitely glad that you chose to come here. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want you to just feel at home because this is not their house. It's not my house, but this is our father's house. So you are more than welcome, just as welcome as we are. So we thank you uh, for choosing Revival Center on today. God bless you. Give our guests another hand. We are so excited about what God is doing in our students. We had the opportunity to see some graduate. I couldn't make them all, and some I didn't even know about. So y'all forgive me if I didn't. And I, I, there were so many, and 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 I am so proud of the graduates. I only got to make a couple. But I am so proud of everyone who uh, graduated. That is a huge accomplishment. That is a great accomplishment. And we are just so glad that uh, me and those were able to walk across that stage. I saw so many different chords. I, I love that. I love that. Um, they were almost, there were some that almost had as many as Janessa had. Janessa walked like this across stage when she graduated. She has many chords on her neck. She's walking across like that. But I, I, I really enjoyed seeing that. And I was telling my kids, I said, look, for every one of those cores, that's money. That's money. The more you collect and the more you get, I'll pay out. You know, and we have to invest in our kids, y'all. Yes. We have to invest in our kids. I remember uh, when my son was in high school all the way from, from, from freshman to junior year, uh, first report cards, every grade uh, until you got to D's and F's, but every grade was worth something. And the higher the grade, the more money you got. And I mean, I, when I tell you he was clocking those A's and B's, and then I told him after the junior year, I said, it's expected. I ain't giving you no more money. You better get those grades. You better get it right. You better make, after that, those grades went all the way in the toilet. I said, I should have never stopped giving them that money. <laughs> so I tell y'all, invest in your kids. Invest in your kids, because we don't, the world will. Amen? So we are excited about what God is doing. Um, we had some graduates this year. 
um, a, a lot coming up on their senior year. Is is uh, is Michael Cameron coming up on his senior year? Next year. Next year. Amen. Yeah, that's good. And I think we got some more that, that are going to be coming up on their senior year. So, yeah, we are very excited about what God is doing um, with our young people. Amen. So at this time, we are going to go into the ministry of giving. Amen. And we are going, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Somebody knows how to be blessed, amen. And we are going to go into the ministry of giving, and we are going to give to this house and be a blessing to this house. Um, God's been so good to us. Um, yeah. We're in a season that we are um, getting things um, in the house done. We're trying to get things in the house done. Um, there's a lot of different repairs that need to be done, and we don't want um, this beautiful edifice to become an edifice that's run down. Amen. We want to keep it up. So we are in the process of going through some remodeling. I told them uh, I wanted to get with the brothers here soon and um, and redo uh, the middle aisle and the and the front of the church because we the front of the church is. Uh, it's supposed to be the dance floor. So we want to wood this whole area up here. You know, I did, to, you know, we do it to our houses. I did to my, and why not? The house of God, we can't let it, you know, lie away. So we got to, we want to do that to the house of God. The aisle and the front, we want to, uh, brothers want to get together and want to start, uh, we want to go to lumber liquidators and start getting some lumber to do this floor. Amen. Wouldn't that be beautiful, y'all? Yes. Amen. So we want to do that. So let's all stand to our feet. Uh, the deacon step out. Amen. Amen. We want to move quickly. We want to get the pastor up and give him time. Uh, God, we thank you for this offering and these tithes that we are about to receive. God, we ask that you bless it. We ask that you multiply it for kingdom work, for kingdom building. God, those that don't have, we ask that you bless them so that they're able to give on the next time. And those that are giving, Lord, multiply. In Jesus' name we pray and we trust you and we say amen. 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 Everybody is uh, facing center aisle and we're just going to come. Pastors, the first partaker, we're just going to come and give to my, to my left, your right. Um, we're going to give by card swipe and everything else will go in the bucket. Let's give. Thanks to God. Choir, please take the stand. Choir, please take the stand. You want to give the pastor time?
right. Now that we got that out the way, let's prepare to give to our first lady. Y'all listen, I'm gonna give this mic to Evangelist Lattimore, because she's gonna tell y'all exactly what to do. Let me get you a pen. Come on, clap your hands for our evangelist. Wait, you in the right spirit? You've been whooping kids to, okay. I'm in the right spirit. But I tell you, I know I'm at Revival Center, but I didn't hear no hand clapping and foot stomping this morning. So I feel a little different. But nevertheless, this, um, what am I doing? Um, offering for our first lady. Oh my God, how many know we have a phenomenal first lady? That means that everybody should have been resting on their feet and clapping their hands because, like I said, we have a phenomenal first lady. Yeah. Yeah. And she has a birthday on this week coming up Wednesday night. No. Wednesday into the third. First. Oh, it's July. I'm a month ahead of myself. Okay, but nevertheless, but she is so well deserving because I tell y'all, my $35 offering can't even pay for half of the information that she then researched and gave me. So I know if she's done that for me, I don't know how many others that she has looked out for. I promise y'all she is a, a lawyer, a detective. She is the FBI. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Who said CIA? You right, you right. I promise y'all, if there's the will, there is a way. If there's some information you need, I promise y'all, she will help you find it. The thing is though, sometimes it's so, it's so sad that people don't know how to honor what they have. But they wait until somebody's dead and gone and then they want to start having these acknowledgments and appreciation services and all these things. This is Fifth Sunday. This is our time to be a blessing to the woman of God of this house. Hallelujah. She don't give our pastor no problem. We see it's the other way around. But yet, she show us how to be very modest and how to take it and how to go on. You know what I'm saying? I promise y'all, you want to learn how to be a good wife? She can get you some pointers. She can help you in your marriage. She can help you with these children. See, she just went over there and quiet mass down just that quick. But I tell you, let's be a blessing to her this morning. Let's go above and beyond. Let's show her that we appreciate her, that we love her, and we thank God for who she is in this house. She don't tear this church up. She helps to build this church up. I don't know if y'all heard what I just said. Because the Bible talks about a foolish woman can test something up with her own hands. But I thank God. I praise him. I praise him. Y'all don't understand. I praise God. Y'all ain't got to walk up and hear the first lady talking about y'all. You know what I'm saying? You tell us something, you don't got to worry about it going nowhere. That is a blessing. Y'all should be thanking the Lord. I mean, bless his holy name. Because that is something to give God some praise for. Because I tell y'all, y'all don't understand. I know some of y'all might have been to some places and seen some things. All right now. But I thank the Lord. So let us stand to our feet. Get your seed and your offering in your hand. I don't want you to just get what we ask him at $35 for. But I want you to get what God put on your heart to bless this woman of God went on this morning. And yes, we know some don't have and this, this, and that. But I know if you got something, get your something in your hand. We're going to stand to our feet and we're going to come around and we're going to be a blessing to our first lady on this fifth Sunday. And this only comes up every now and then. You better come on, flowers. Uh, I got to say this. 
You got to say something? Yeah, yeah. I thought we were supposed to give you the mic until you Oh, preach. no, you're supposed to give me the mic. Oh. Uh, the, the problem is, since April is, uh, well, we ain't going to go back there. But I can't fit in the plate, you know, because we're supposed to be giving her, you know, you know uh, 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 but, but I give her me. Amen? Huh? You already have me? All right. So you all, we have the best first lady in the world. And I've had first ladies. I've been through first, I've been around first ladies. And when I tell you, we have the very best. Amen? All right. I don't see y'all resting on your feet. I don't see you resting on your feet. We might need a little, little uh, some, some church music while we coming around. Come on. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do.
everybody. Give the Lord a praise. The sixth chapter, starting at the 13th verse, it reads, And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Therefore, make yourself an ark of gopher and wood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rooms shall thy make in the ark. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And thou shalt pitch it within and without. And this is the fashion which you shall make it of. Then it began to talk about the length of the ark. I'm yes, not going to read through all of it. I'm going to just paraphrase. It even told us to make a window. Come on, somebody. And, and then it didn't just stop there, but it talked about first story, second story, and third story. Hallelujah. And then it told him that he would come into uh -huh. the ark. Yes, sir. Uh, and bring two of every living thing. You're in the book. Hallelujah. Oh, God. And, and then it told him that, uh, uh, that to bring them in two by two. Yes, and what he was doing was preserving. Hallelujah. The things that God wanted to preserve. And then the Bible says, thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearers of his word. Heavenly Father God, we come to you once again in the name of Jesus, thanking you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, your kindness, thanking you for who you are, all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do. So we ask you, God, these are your people. They don't belong to me. It's nothing I can give them that'll help them unless it comes from you. So rebuke my flesh. Take out everything that's not like you that would hinder me, oh God, from being used by you. I want to be a vessel this morning. I want you to possess me with your Holy Ghost. Oh, God, and have your way. Oh, bless your people. Hallelujah. Give us a word to strengthen, to help us, to carry us through. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name, we pray and we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I wanted to give you the message that God gave me to give to you. God wants you to be an ark builder. God wants you to be an ark builder. So when I say that, I want, maybe I better shorten it up because that's the message, but if I get a title, I would have to say ark builders. Amen. So I want to deal with 
the definition itself of an ark. Teach us, teach us. Uh, in the Bible, an ark is a ship, as they say, that was built by Noah, and it was built to save his family. Yes, Jesus. And two of every kind of animal from the flood. Uh, that God promised was to come. Uh, so they say it's a boat, a ship. Um, it is something that, and this is where it gets good right here, something that affords protection and safety. Uh, then we go on a sacred chest uh, representing to uh, the Hebrews' presence amongst uh, uh, the presence of God amongst the Hebrews. Amen. Uh, so when we look at the ark, the ark was a ship that was built. But we have to understand why it was built. You find out why it was built, and then you will understand what the ark really is and was. So, when you look at the ark, the ark was built for us to find safety. The ark was built for us to find refuge. The ark was built. Amen. So that we as mankind would not suffer, oh my God, and be no longer. Yes, sir. They wanted to, God wanted to preserve mankind. Yes, Hallelujah. But because there was evil, because there was so much mess in the earth. God wanted to get rid of it. But God always looks for those who are willing to serve him. Come on, somebody. I'm almost ready to preach now. But the ark was an ark of safety. That's why they often say when giving an invitation... They say, have you accepted God and come into the ark of safety? Yes, Somebody shout yes, Lord. yes, Lord. Because we understand that the safest place in the entire world is in the will of God. Come on, somebody, y'all figure it out because the devil likes to start messing when God's ready to bless. And the church service has not been as lively as usual. So come on and give God some praise, somebody. Hallelujah to God. So we understand that God wants his people to be saved. God wants his people to find refuge. Yes, God does not want to leave his people without shelter. Oh, there, there we get the word. He is our shelter in the time of the storm. Yes, Somebody shout yes, Lord. yes, Lord. So when we deal with our building, because God wants you to be an ark builder. An ark builder is a preparer. One who believes in preparation. Somebody shout yes, Lord. And, and, and not only is an ark builder one who believes in preparation, but an ark builder is one who is able to survive the storm. Somebody shout yes Lord. yes, Lord. While others, oh my God, you look at the scripture. While, while Noah was building the ark, mm -hmm. others were sitting around mocking him. Come on, somebody. 
How many of you know that we do that in the church today? While people are praising and worshiping God the way that God deserves it, people will sit up and mock. Come on, somebody. Not only are they mocking, but some will laugh at you. Glory to the Lamb of God. While building the ark, oh my God, some will literally get upset with you. Not understanding that what you're trying to do is to prepare a safe place for them. Oh my God. But their attitude does another thing. Yes. Their attitude says, I don't want salvation. Yes. The, the attitude says, I do not want refuge. The attitude will tell you that I simply don't want to be saved. Come on, yes. Come on somebody. So the ark does indeed represent salvation. Glory to the Lamb of God. Now we talk about the natural sense. But now let's cross on over to the spiritual side. Somebody shout yes Lord. When building an ark. Oh there is a difference between natural refuge and spiritual refuge. There is a difference between natural shelter. Come on somebody and spiritual shelter. Glory to the Lamb of God. There is a difference because I want you to understand that a natural shelter, a natural house, you better not light a fire. Come on somebody because that house is going to come down. But when it comes to us in the spirit, the word of God says that no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. Somebody shout yes Lord. Glory to the Lamb of God. Woo! So there is a difference. Somebody shout yes Lord. I have seen people seeking refuge. And the very ones that they run into are the ones that take them out. The ones that they run into are the ones that do not really have the ability to protect them from everything. But I want you to understand the refuge that we are seeking. Somebody shout yes Lord. It cares about the total man. Amen. Cares about your body, your soul, as well as your spirit. Oh, yes. Somebody shout yes Lord. yes, Lord. So glory to the Lamb of God. He's going to take care of you. Yeah, you. Oh, I wish y'all could help me Amen. preach today. Yes, Somebody just call on the name Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, Oh my God, I don't have much time, but let me deal with this because God wanted me to point this out. That when we build our ark, yes. Noah built that ark, Brother Kenneth, yes, Lord. but he did not just build it for himself alone. Yes, Lord. He built it to save many. Yes. Yes. But Brother Nick, so many rejected him. Yes. And because God knew that they would reject him. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. We have never heard of any rain. Yes, yes. We have never heard of this or that. Come on. That's what happens when the prophetic word goes forth. Come on, yes, Lord. Come on. The spirit of Pharaoh comes in the church. Yes. Your heart begins to get hard. Yes. You begin to get angry with the pastor. Come on, Lord. Come on. Come on somebody. And, and, and when you do, you even become a liar. You end up lying to yourself. Yes, yes. Somebody shout, yes, yes, Lord. yes, Lord. But the old saints used to say, come out of that corner. Come out of that corner. Come out of that corner. Hallelujah. You can't hide. 
So there's a difference between yes. spiritual refuge yes, sir. Yes, sir. and a natural refuge. Uh -huh. There's a difference between spiritual shelter yes. and natural shelter. Yes, See, the ark was sheltered in the time of the storm. Somebody shout yes, Lord. It protected them throughout the days. Glory to the Lamb of God. But I want you to know that without Jesus, there was nothing made that was made. Even the natural things come from God. It is him that gives you the power to get well. It is him that made us and not we ourselves. That's why we are to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. That's why we are to be thankful unto him and to bless his name because the Lord is his Yes, he is. And his mercy is everlasting. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. And because of his grace, and because of his mercy, you're able to build your heart. Somebody shout yes. You got to build that heart. Not just for you, but for your family. It's just enough for me coming to church. I don't even want to be here today. He done got on my nerves. She done threw me off track. I'm tired of looking at this. The kids getting on my nerves. Oh my God. But I want you to understand that is the trick of the enemy. That's the one standing outside of the ark mocking you, talking against you, telling you that it's not worth it. But hey, it's worth it. It's worth it because there's been a bit in serving the Lord. I feel like preaching. Somebody shout yeah. Oh, it's time for you to build in heart and bring the people in. Preach, preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Somebody shout yes. Tell them, yes, Lord. And if you win, they so. You all right, you wash the blood off your hands. And if they turn and walk away from you, you've yet washed the blood from your hands. Somebody shout yeah, but you got to do something. You can't just sit down on your do nothing. But get up, come on James, get on up. Get up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's imperative that we build our hearts. Oh, glory. God told Noah to build it up. And God is telling you to build it up. He told what to build it with and he's giving you what to build it with somebody shout yes you got to build it up on your most holy faith shout yes you got to build it on your knees you got to build it through fasting I don't hear nobody how many of you fast on the fast day, how many you forget over and over, over and over? Hey, glory! Instead of growing in the spirit, you growing in your flesh. 
wondering why we got so many problems. Shout yes, yeah. but he said if you fail, I'll come quickly. I will deliver. I'll make a way. I will hear you. Yeah. Build your heart. Get in touch with Jesus. Hold on and don't let go. Trust in the Lord with all, all, all your heart. And do not lean to your own understanding, but in all, 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 all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will. You will. Thank you, brother, for great Christ. He will. He will direct your path. Shall be in. Yes, Lord. Say yes. In the way you are going to build your heart, you're going to build it with everything that God has given you. Hallelujah. Y'all better catch this wisdom. Everything that He has given you, every gift, every calling, every anointing. By being faithful with it. That's it. That's it. Somebody shout yes. yes Lord. Not laying it down. Thank Not you. burying it. it. Somebody shout yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Only thing that needs to be buried is that which is dead. Somebody shout yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh my God today. Thank you. But you got to use what God has given you in order to build that ark. Yes. And when you're using what God has given you, guess what you are doing? You are lifting up Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And guess what happens when you lift up Jesus? Jesus said, if I be lifted up. Yes. I will draw all men. Yes. That's why it's imperative that we build an ark. Upstairs, downstairs, make rooms in and out. Because when we do the will of God, we're going to bring some folks right along with us. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. God wants you to be an art builder. God is telling you to build an art. We thought it was just for Noah. But brother Tony, you better build your art. We thought it was for Noah and Tony, but Brother Roman, you better build your ark. Yes, we thought it was for Noah, Tony, and Roman, but Brother Jeray, you better build your ark. Yes. 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 We all have an ark to build. And in that, we find our shelter. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but I've been attacked by some serious storms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been through hell and back. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Not only that, after going through this and that, you got somebody to come right in front of my own church and try to rebuke me. But I thank God for wisdom.
yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Sometimes we try to do something, but we don't have the tools to do it with. Hello, hello. See, Hallelujah. God gives you wisdom. Yes, and you can handle things in a good way. That's it. You can make them want to go buy you some suits. Come on, somebody. Yes, but everything, you don't have to match the same energy. Yes, because if you handle things the right way, Things will turn around. Yes. You hear me? Yes, sir. Right. You hollering at me, looking at me crazy, messing with me, and now I'm hollering at you, looking at you crazy, messing with you. Now we fight. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. But the thing is, is, he can holler, mess with me, and this and that. Now I can try to see what's going on with him. Yes, sir. And try to deal with the problem. That's right. Give him a hug. And now I got some help. Give him a hug. Now I got some help. Yes, sir. And the Bible says two's better than yes, one. Sir. So we got to know how to build. Yes. Use everything that God has given you. Yes, Jesus. Stop flying off. The hand. Come on, Master. We turn around and, and God done gave us so much. Now the devil tried to slip something in. And when he's slipping in, we use it too. Hold on, forget wisdom. I got to tell this. Forget about peace, but uh, you got the wrong one today. Y'all catching this? But we got the ability to reprove, rebuke, exhort. Come on, somebody. We got the ability to do it all. But the Bible say everything you do in word or in deed, do it all as unto the Lord. All in the name of the Lord Jesus. And you can't cuss nobody out in Jesus' name. Y'all catch that? So, ark builders. That's what you are. Come on, somebody. Build your house. And while you're building it, you make sure you are building your spiritual ark. Because if you're building a natural ark, it's only temporary. Somebody shout yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's only temporary. It's going to come down. It's not going to house you and keep you forever. But what we working on is for all eternity. Did y'all catch that word that God gave me? And I tell you what, the devil didn't want people to get this word. That's why it ain't too many people in church today. But guess what? I got it. Uh, I got theirs too. They didn't want it. I got it. As Mother Wright said, I'm going to put it in my knapsack. She said it. She said it. And pull it out a little later on. That's right. Amen? Amen. So God is good. Hallelujah. And I hope y'all caught it. That was the word. That was the word. That was the word. 
and we needed that. I, and, and God knew what I needed. I needed some uplifting. I needed a little bit of life. I needed some joy. I needed, and it's just like April says, a little bit of hand clapping, some foot stomping. I needed some, let's go back to the old time way. So it helped me out. Because we wasn't doing too right today. One part of building your art. And then I'm done, Brother Jeray. How many times I say I'm done? Did I say this is my first time? One part of your art building is your praise. Oh, you can tell the ones that catch it. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. We're going to go right back there in just a second, Brother Jure. But let me help you. My wife and I have 31 years under our belt. Yes, sir. There are some times that we did not get along. But even when we did not get along, I'm trying to help you right here. Y'all catch this. Even when we didn't get along, she might walk past me. And I look at her and I say to myself, my God, she look good to me. Y'all hear me? And do you know what that is? That is praise. Do you catch what I'm saying there? So even when I don't feel like it, there's something on the inside of me. Oh my God, there's something that I can see. So if you don't even feel a praise on the inside, I want you to realize who God is, what God is to you, what he has done for you, where he has brought you from, that he woke you up this morning, that he started you on your way. You got clothes on your back. Food on your table, a roof over your head. Ain't God good? So praise is a part of building your own. Come on, clap them hands. As a part of building that art, what is worship? Showing God what he's worthy of. He's worthy of all I praise. He's worthy of all the glory, all of the honor, everything we have, everything we don't have. God is God is worthy. Lord, I keep trying to stop. But God's trying to do something. Let me say this last thing. There was one, and no way am I downing this person. Because I'm looking for the Lord to deliver this person. But there was one that was Lonely. This person. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, 
glory, 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 glory. Ema shana kana makini diogo, ora kana mashani diyaase. Eska te kana boko hana ba, hika mashani diyaase. This person needed or wanted something else in their life. But unfortunately, this person was a single parent. And because this person was so lonely, they decided to just fall for anything. And when they fell for it, their leader told them, you cannot step out. That's not what God has for you. And when the leader told the person that, the person got angry with the leader. I should be able to have something just like everybody else. Am I supposed to just be alone all my life? So because of the word being given, it brought forth anger because there was no reception. So what ended up happening, I told the person, you will destroy your children. God showed it to me. You're going to destroy your children. And when I said that, the person went on about their business. And now it's to the point to where the devil has attacked some of the children. Some of the children have no mind whatsoever to come to church or to serve God. Come on, somebody. And not only that, but the children gave their parent so much trouble. So the person not only failed to build their ark, but they stood outside and mocked to the point to where them and their children drowned. Are y'all catching this? Wow. So what God is trying to give to you is to be focused. Stop getting mad at the word. Don't point your finger at somebody else when the word's going for. Because sometimes you look at him up and down thinking it sounds just like him, but the truth is it's you. Why am I preaching like we got a house full of people today? But lastly, I've been up and down in my life. Haven't been perfect, but heaven is my goal. I don't want to go to hell. All the hurt, the pain, the depression, the ups, the downs, the, oh my God. And then I turn around to suffer for all eternity. The devil is a liar and the truth ain't in it. And one of the first steps to getting that refuge, to getting that ark, to getting that shelter, to making it to heaven is to simply be obedient. Okay. God, am I delivered? Am I free? I am yours, God. 
I am yours. I want to make sure that I work on my building. I want to work on my building. Now, God says this right here. No music, no drums. Listen here. Oh my God, because you know that God knows what you need. Because you know where you are in your walk with Christ. Because you want God to do so many different things around you. God said, get your mind on that. And get your mind on me. And just begin to lift your voice. Clap your hands and give God the praise. I want to show you that by your praise, yokes can be broken, things can be destroyed. Oh. I see light rolling off of him all around him but he does not have light on the inside of him but the light that's coming around him is the light that you let shine which is preserving him That's why it said, let your light so shine. Yeah. Hallelujah, because the works follow. Yeah. Oh, God. That woman that has been sitting with her mouth shut, God is going to heal her. I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. When I pray in the spirit, sometimes I don't know who it is. It might not even be right here. I might be seeing something that is watching me, but there is a healing going on. An issue in the throat area. There's somebody that every door that has been closed in your face, you've been seeking, trying to get somewhere, to get something, to receive. And it looked like no matter where you go, the doors are shut. But God said, I am about to open up the doors that have been shut in your face. Oh my God, he's going to take the doors off the hinges and throw them out so they will not be able to be closed anymore. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
I praise you for this, Jesus. I praise you for it. Oh, God, I'm glad that I'm being a bearer of good news. I receive it. And you all, I know that we wait once a year, but I feel another revival in my soul. Because we need it, we need it, we need it. Y'all don't know the fruit that's come from the revivals. I, I hope she done testified. I hope I ain't telling on her. But even Sister Christine, when she was looking to close down, God called her out and I said, God, from the things that I see, I want to be the first one to plant seed into her. So we planted our seed. But do you know that just like the Lord said, people have been planting seeds from everywhere. There are people that are sponsoring her like God said. There are people that is giving her buildings now. Because God said it. it. has nothing to do with your preacher, your pastor. It's God. Take God's glory. You get messed up. So, God wants you. Oh, God, I done went so far over time. To be an ark builder. Extra touch in your body. A touch in your body. A touch in your body. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to go. Let me be obedient to the Spirit. Come on. Give the Lord some praise, somebody. Hey, God, do it for your glory right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, my God. Sometimes the visions sound weird and they, they sound kind of crazy, but what I've seen was like, uh, if you are going to, uh, uh, look at that podium there, Brother Roman, you put that thing together for me. Yes, sir. And when you put it together, you put that glass on top of it. Yes, sir. And then you put a screw through it uh -huh. in order to stick it to the wood. Yes, sir. And the Lord said that that's what the enemy has been trying to do to your body. He has been trying to screw things into you. To try to make it stick. And to make it stay. But in the name of Jesus right now. Come on, somebody, clap them hands and give God praise. I rebuke it now. You're able, God. And see, all God wants is for you to be faithful. All He wants is for you to give yourself to him. He wants you to present your bodies a living sacrifice. Now that's deeper than just a little old bitty sacrifice. A living sacrifice. Come on somebody. Holy and acceptable. Which is your reasonable service. Don't be conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
You got a problem with somebody, you go to them and to them alone. Oh, don't go spreading their business, throwing them off, messing them up, shaming them, doing this and doing that, but deal with it. You catching that? Yes. Hallelujah. But give God what he's worthy of. Mm. This is one time I wish I had my glasses on so I could see y'all's eyes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't today. Okay, thank you. I felt that. Try to run from this prophetic anointing because I tell you, prophets look like complete weirdos to me sometimes. I have to look at myself. I try to hold my head up. I try to do this, but I be about backwards. And, oh, God. But I tell you what, Sister Ness, I'm getting to that point. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it's the power unto salvation. He's a good God. Oh, such a good God. Y'all can come on in. Hallelujah. I can't see too well, but I see. I don't got my glasses on, but somebody was back there saying, should we even go in? Is it over? Is it this or that? I don't know. That's what I heard you saying. Oh, hallelujah. But God is a good God. Ain't he good? <laughs> and just like in the Bible, they say the one that come at the very last hour, they receive the same. Ain't that good? Thank you. Thank you. So I might have to have. That is Devon back there. Okay. Well, maybe he can preach to him and he can tell him what the Lord said today. And lay hands on him and slay him, Devon. <laughs> Well, he's good, ain't he? Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do you like him. Can't nobody love you like him. Nobody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nobody. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Thank you, All right. Deacon. Into your hands. Let's say amen. Amen. We thank God for his word. We thank God for the man of God that delivered the word. Amen. And we receive it with a glad heart. Glory be to God. Amen. We thank each and every one of you that have viewed online. We thank you. Each and every one of you that will see it on the replay. Amen. If you haven't had an opportunity to sow, we ask that you sow. You can do it on Cash App, Revival Center IA. You can do it on Givelify, Revival Center, Church of God in Christ. You don't want to miss out on the blessings that you receive when you sow into fertile soil. I guarantee you, God is not a God that would lie. And I know, I can guarantee you that there is going to be blessings on blessings, on blessings in your life. If you receive that word on today, you won't be the same. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So we love you and we thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah.